Hi everybody and welcome back. I really appreciate you joining me. If you are an orchid aficionado, then you know, or aficionada, then you know how much we love the orchids and we can never get enough. So the orchids also give us reason to have more orchids because not only can we divide them in order to get more orchids, we can also get off the keikis that they produce because as you can see here, these canes from my aphyllum have finished blooming and in true fashion, they are throwing out little babies. And in the succulent world, they're called pups. But here they take the Hawaiian name of baby, which is keiki. So when it comes to keikis, here, for example, is another way of seeing a baby keiki or pup in the succulent world. And they come out from the stem and when they produce their own roots, it's a keiki because this in its own right now is its own plant, which is awesome. We can get more of the same and it will be exact replica of the mother plant. So there's no worrying about color of the blooms or anything. You know exactly what you're going to get if you get a keiki from a plant that you like. It's going to be exactly the same. All the characteristics will match. So you see here, this is a keiki from last year on my Dendrobium berryoda. I never took it off. It doesn't hurt the plant to leave it on. But, you know, now that I'm on a mission to make more orchids in order to share them, I'm also going to be a little bit more prudent about taking my keikis off when the roots, for example, are growing. Now, I may need to wait a couple of days, maybe three days, four days, for those roots to be a little bit longer and the keiki to leaf out a little bit more. But here, the aphyllum keikis, I don't want to lose these root tips, as you can see. If I leave it too long, yes, the keiki will live off all the substance of the mother plant. It's going to be fine. But with the dry air and possibly more hot wind coming, because we are now mid-July, third week of July, those root tips will dry off and then that will be it. And taking them off the mother plant is probably a little bit more conducive now in order to protect the roots so that they can grow and then the keiki can become strong as well, despite the nutrients. And you can see how long these roots already are. I don't want to lose the growing tips, so I'm going to take these off now and I'll take you along. Yay for more orchids! Let's do this with as little damage to mom and baby as possible. So a film is my first candidate. I just want to show you last year's keikis. I took off last year's keikis and put them right back on the mount of the mother plant and they are producing a superb root system right now. All this here is the root system from last year's keikis and they're producing their own little growths this year. Last year I used adhesive, floral adhesive to glue them on but I really had to be careful with the roots because they were aerial so I put a little microfiber over them now this year I don't have to worry about it. Everything is attached in its own accord and all the roots here are the new ones and eventually these little canes here will actually become as big and long as the mother plant. Right, keikis are actually really easy to remove. All it's gonna take is a confident pinch of the base and a turn. Or two turns. It's wonderful and dry, so I'm not going to need any cinnamon here to protect that cut. I am not worried about any infections going in. And here's our first little baby. Now detached from the mother plant 
and needing its own sustenance. And I have put in a scouring pad in order to hold the cakey in place so as not to drown it and let it slip down. And this way I can just place it, the idea being, just place it on the scouring pad and let it rest touching the water. Next one. This one is super attached to its mom. There we go. A little bit of finagling. And I think I cracked a root back here. I'm not entirely sure. And I may have compromised a leaf, the bottom leaf here. Let's hope not. That's number two. And around and around we go. This one was a bit easier because the roots were a little bit shorter and not attached to the mother plant yet. Now six keikis from a plant on a mount is going to make a fabulous, fabulous mount for somebody else. I'm just a bit dubious about this one because of the back. This wound is a bit big considering. So I'm gonna place it the other way around. Let's check this one to be double sure. You see this wound is a little bit smaller. So that's not a problem. All right, there was one more I think that I saw. I actually have two more, but you see they are too small. Even the roots are starting just to grow they're only just growing now. You can see they're only just growing, so they're too small. So you can't like just wait and do everything in one go. We'll have to come back and do this one another time. If it's going to make it, because the temperatures are such that it's possible these two will not make it. What I find cool about this one is that it's a keiki coming from last year's keiki that I didn't take off because it was too small. Now the keiki itself has grown a new growth. So that's interesting. Right, let's put these away out of the sun and get on with the other ones. Okay, these are much bigger. I brought myself a really sharp knife in case I need it because there could be a little bit more resistance on these ones as they are really tough stuck to the cane of the mother plant but I could be wrong each case is different and I think this one is so ripe it wants to come off all, all by itself A little bit of twists and turns. Check the, the roots. That's the other one that I'm going to take off today. And of course, as dendrobium keikis do, they grow down into the leaves. So it's off. But what's holding it now are just the roots that are, have grown into the crevice of that leaf. right here. So we need to just 
convince it that it's time to let go. There we go. There is another root. Come on, you know you want to. Okay, maybe you don't, but I want to. There we go. Let's see what this one does. And I have some water for it right there. And I just broke the growth off from the newest cakey. That is strange that it came off that easy. That should not happen. Oh well, we'll observe this cakey that it's the rest of it is still on the plant right here. Especially Dendrobium bariota cakeys. They are not that fragile. The aphyllum, yes, simply by the structure of the aphyllum. But what compromised the tip here, too soon to tell. Let's go on with number two. Now we only have two out of three. It's also lodged itself into the crevice of that leaf, but it doesn't look to be too bad. Again, if I was doing this in winter, which is usually not my case because they are not fully grown, I would be using cinnamon all over the place to dry off the cuts, but it's so hot, the air is so dry, we're going to be just fine. And here you can see that the keiki itself doesn't have very many roots, so we'll see if that is going to even going to make it. And this is where it was attached to the mother plant, right there. Okay, so that's my two candidates so far. The mixture that they're in right now is 100% calcium magnesium and seaweed at 6.3. So that's the two candidates that I had planned for. And I feel as though I'm missing something. Let me think about it. This was not what I was trying to remember because these keikis aren't ready to come off. This is my Dendrobium tortile, growing two gorgeous new keikis and look at those roots coming out of their own accord. That is, oh, I love it. So these aren't ready to come off. Look at the size of these root tips. As much as I hate leaving them on, they have not leafed out yet. So I'm loath to take them off, but oh, I do so want to preserve these root tips. Oh my goodness. I do miss them once, twice a day, depending if it's really hot wind, then twice a day, but I do try to keep some water in and around them. Right now I have a 60% humidity and it's like 6.30 PM. So that's okay. But this, the roots appear to be ready but the rest of the keiki is not. We need a few more leaves. If I can get two or three leaves to branch out, that would be perfect. All right, how can I forget? It's not just about dendrobium keikis. This one here, my supposed tessellata black. Gorgeous, love her. The fragrance, wow, knockout. But, she is giving me two keikis in the form of fans and they were tucked away in this network cage of roots and I was always quite curious how is she going to figure out to get out into the light but you can see that one has already grown really really well look at that that's where she's attached to the mother plant and if one day I can get in there and she has already produced her own roots, then I can cut her off, the mother plant, 
and then somebody else can have one exactly like this. That's going to be a major operation because this is a rib cage of roots that are quite substantial. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to go about it, but maybe one day it still has to grow a little bit. I mean, of course, if it has a root system, it can sustain itself already at this point, but why risk it? Let it grow at least double, if not a little bit more the size and then figure out how to get her off. Another option would be when the mother plant has grown during that time is to cut the mother plant down so that the keiki becomes its own plant with a lot of roots and then it might branch out again. But it's already doing that keiki number two on this tessellata black. Look, coming out right here bit wonky but that is simply because of again how the roots have wrapped themselves around the plant some I directed back into the basket and some are just doing it of their own accord so there's two keikis on this mother plant already and it's possible that the only option to get them separated and be able to give them away is to cut the mother plant in in an area and secure her with her own root system and let the babies grow on with a bigger root system and again produce probably another plantlet just because of the damage that's been inflicted so yeah let me turn her around again for a better view and say thank you very very much for watching now she has a golden hue in the evening sun i really appreciate having you here and i hope that you have a wonderful day Take care, everybody. Bye.